what's important to know for the beginning and uh, just as usual for the beginning i want to show you the, the risk disclaimer that um, everyone knows that this is not an investment advice, advice or any recommendation and um, my name is christian walter here's some basic facts um, how i started to um, become a trader and a teacher in trading um, options um, and stocks and some of the important um, information for the beginning i would like to share you with you today um, for the beginning um, if you start option trading um, there's yeah, massive information what you need to know and today i just want to take out a few topics what i found uh, very interesting um, for for the beginning and um, which option strategies are um, maybe um, yeah, good for beginners um, to learn how to use them and um, for this you can see the first topic um, from today we have a credit and um, debit spreads there are two types of credit and debit spreads and credit call debit spreads and the same for debit spreads um, later on we will make some examples in trader workstation um, where i can show you some more information and some more details um, the most important thing um, what we will also see later when we um, set some um, trades in the live trading account on the paper trading account that options make it very easy to calculate your chance and your risk this is um, point two what you see here in the presentation it's uh, very important that you can um, set this up um, like you want to have it before or you can open positions only related to this uh, chance and uh, risk analysis um, for example if you have a debit spread you can uh, risk one dollar and the maximum profit might be three dollars something like this so it's very important for, for you to know that option uh, trading with the right strategies can really lower the amount of your investment they can lower the amount of your risk depending on your strategies and uh, to create a really um, a good um, chance risk analysis these two spreads um, under point one uh, is very important um, because from these positions you can easily um, calculate um, this uh, analysis and for example if you just hold in a stock position of course your risk is to lose everything if the stock is going down to zero um, but normally it's very hard to calculate the exact uh, risk because uh, as you might know after the last um, few weeks there can be gaps um, in the night what um, will make it hard to calculate the correct risk because uh, if there's a gap you won't be able to get a fill for your stop order and many other problems what you might not have um, as an option trader and if you use this uh, information for the beginning it's um, it's also easier with a smaller account to place like um, some different positions um, also for like maybe stocks which are a little bit more expensive uh, apple amazon or something like this but we will give you a few examples and i will also show you on our website later on where you find more information for this topic another thing another important information is uh, the open interest and implied volatility what you see here on uh, under point uh, three it will give you um, some more detailed information how many people are invested in a certain um, option or even in a certain option strategy for example and what is implied or what is already um, included in the price because the implied volatility for example will give you an, an information um, what market makers thinks uh, how how um, how is the volatility for the stock so um, if we can uh, later see it in the TWS, some examples you will see for, um, for American airline, uh, for example, or for all the airlines, we have still a very high implied volatility um, because the situation in um, public transportation, mainly in um, flights, are still like a little bit uncertain and not clear for the future. But if you go to Microsoft or Visa, they have a very low implied volatility because the risk for big movements um, is not so high like for American um, airlines. So even as a stock trader, you can use this information to get some more knowledge um, what professional market makers think about this, um, um, about the volatility in a, in a certain stock. 
And it will also help you to choose the right um, strategy. We can choose between credit or debit spreads and implied volatility as open interest will help me to select the correct um, um, option strategy. And um, also it will show me um, yeah, how many people bet it on a certain um, strike price, uh, which expiration. So there are much more information in option trading um, than what you normally have um, in in uh, stock trading or in this so even as i said for stock trading you can use all this information and it will help you maybe to um yeah get a um a better decision for entry or exit price for your stop or even it can help you to set your stop orders correct there are many things or many ways uh, where you can use this information also for the underlying so for the stock itself or if you do like index options then um, it will also help you um, for the index itself this is uh, unit one unit two um, i also um, picked up uh, three main topics uh, rolling an option so for example um, you can also yeah change the expiration date you can change your strike price there are many ways uh, in options if you um, entry in um, into an uh, option for example a debit or credit spread where you can change some of your some of your um, values like strike price and expiration date and it will help you to lower your risk it will help you to change maybe some um, some settings in the um, position itself so for example if you do the same um, for stock not possible because you have an entry price you can sell it and maybe get a lower entry price but this will not help you because um, it's not really like some benefit because uh, you have to sell first the stock and buy it again to a for a lower price but an option um, trading this is possible for example just with the uh, time value what's a very um, basic information or like some really important thing what we use for option trading especially uh, if you sell options the time value is very important because um, the lower the time value is um, the more profit you might make um, for your sold option if the price is straight is stable so with time value you can always um, change different things so for example if you want to sell a put option on American Airlines for ten dollar um, and you realize oh it's going down a little bit more just uh, make the expiration date a little bit longer and you can even lower your strike price um, without uh, getting a loss so they are very very um, um, important uh, things what is possible if you have the right understanding about option trading and yeah this webinar will also give you a short overview um, what are the benefits? Of course, um, when there are advantages, normally there are also um, disadvantages. But we, when we compare it to stock trading, I still think uh, option trading um, has more benefits uh, than like or more advantages than disadvantages if you have the, the correct knowledge. And this might be the barrier at the beginning where a lot of people are struggling because uh, there are a lot of numbers and a lot of things um, you might need to know. Um, and this. Uh, webinar will give you an overview of how to start and which information um, are important and also um, where to get this information I can also give you some some details for this so um, the second thing after rolling an option uh, what's just basically changing strike price um, or expiration date is uh, a guaranteed uh, guaranteed stop for shares um, like I told you earlier if there's uh, something happening in the night for example, like earnings or some news, what you didn't expect. Um, a share, a stock can open on a totally different level, uh, maybe 50% um, less than what the price was the day before. So your stock will be not, uh, your stop will be not executed um, because of the gap which you have um, overnight. Stops will be only executed in a stock market in the main trading hours. What makes it like um, difficult, like I said uh, earlier, to calculate your risk correct. And um, if you have a big um, stock position and you just want to make sure in a worst case scenario, um, it was like a Microsoft or Visa, I think it's not, um, the probability, probability is very low that they will have a gap like this. Um, in biotech, biotech stocks, it might be a different um, thing. But if you really want to have a guaranteed stop for some shares, um, 
um, under the condition that you have minimum 100 shares because option is always related to one option to 100 shares. You can um, get a guaranteed stop and this is also something what I would like to show you here in um, TWS settings. And the last thing what is I think very important to like shareholders or to uh, people who have a portfolio with, um, with a lot of stocks and uh, like they follow a buy and hold strategy where they uh, keep these positions for quite a while. Uh, it's collecting premium um, on existing stocks. Same conditions here. Um, it's also only pop possible if you have a minimum 100 shares because an option is uh, one option is equal to 100 shares. But um, I will tell this always to all um, stock traders who are telling me like, oh no, option trading is a little bit um, too risky for me and um, there's no benefit, I'm a stock trader. But even if you're just holding positions, uh, it will give you, if you do it correct, normally an extra income, some better performance uh, all over the year. If you do it with, um, um, yeah, selling call options on existing stocks, what's uh, basically called covered calls. And I think everyone who started with option trading already might know covered calls is the first thing you might learn in an option course um, after maybe also put selling. So this is uh, as basically how to generate a premium, how to get a benefit of um, selling options. And yeah, this is something what we would like to show you here in the TWS as well. Okay, I opened the Trader Workstation um, and um, as I told you, with these uh, six topics, um, we will give you some examples. And as we spoke already about um, one interesting stock at the moment, I will open this for American Airlines. Just let's make the chart a little bit bigger that we have some more information. We will change it from uh, one minute to um, daily candles. And you can see here American Airline, like uh, we had um, the lowest price below $9. This was um, here middle of May and it came from 30 31 um, dollars so if you want to have like um, or if you want to open a position now and you want to buy 100 shares you have to invest uh, for example here um, 1115 um, dollars and um, then it's always related what we said earlier to your chance risk um, profile or chance risk uh, analysis where you have to set a stop and uh, where's your target so if we make an example right now i would say um, American airline, it, the price at the moment is $11.15. I'm pretty sure um, in June, it's just an example, um, it will go up minimum um, above $13, or oh, sorry, till July, um, above $13, but not higher than $17. Um, so this is called a debit spread. I can um, just let me put some some lines for it. So my idea is it's scoring above 13 and uh, but not higher like the price was here in um, beginning of March um, or end of March we had reached the last time $17. So it's called um, if I do this with an option strategy it's called debit call spread. I buy a $13 uh,